Yes, yes, thank you very much. Welcome to the latest edition of the Bunce Hour here on Box Nation. A tremendous shot takes the judges out of the equation. George Armani found an absolutely substance right hand. And that might just be the most of the tournament. The last guy you saw there is my first guest, and it's the only way it should be this evening. The winner, I think, of Class C 67 from the Repton Club. Please welcome, and I want some, I want proper hallelujahs and cheers. If I had a live audience here, I'd have people swooning, you understand me? And that's what I want to see. Please welcome to the show, George Omani. Omani, I think his name is. Uh, produced um, a, a special punch, Steve. He's a special kid. Great technique, good power. I think what was the difference there as well between the two boxes was speed of punch. Sure. He was beating his opponent to the shot. I said he should try and reverse the rolls and try and beat him to the punch in that last round. But Omani there pulled out an absolute peach. And as Ronnie said, I mean, we can see the punch here coming out. As Ronnie said, I think he pulled out something similar yeah. in yesterday's semi final. He looked relaxed. I mean, there that, you go. that's not an accidental shot, no, which, is not it? You work all. on the punch he, like that. He knows exactly what he's doing. He just dips his head to the left and then whips the, oh. the shot over the top, right hand over the top. Classic example, delivered with precision and power. Bang on the button. Super punch. You know something? If he didn't have a vest on and if he was boxing at your call with a knockout like that, everybody online, everybody we'll online would be screaming about. It. Went down to that slit. Omani though the better work in the opening round. If you let Omani get on top of you, if you give him any width, he can really open up. But he's, he's a good defensive boxer as well, Omani. As you see, he's uh, quite careful to pick his shots. It's a good left hand. Good left hand. trying to dictate matters and he's had the better of the first half of this final round as Richie said in between the rounds Heaney's got to take Omani out of his comfort zone uh, Omani's trying to force the belt to make sure he gets the nod from the judges he's got to do a little bit more here Heaney. and he's still, he's still capable of winning this belt needs to come on strong in the second half of this third round if he's going to deny Omani who surely won the first round but may have lost the second Scoring down to punches, though, not rounds. Which, which means Omani had a very good lead after the first round. So he's only pulled back some of the distance. In amateur boxing, as you said, John, you, you win it on punches, not on rounds. Yeah, and... Uh, so Heaney needs to do a little, little bit more at the moment. And unfortunately, I have to say, it's uh, one on volume of punches and not quality of punches, which is uh, sometimes a weakness, and I don't think anybody could defend that. No. Uh, well, that's, again, why they brought the computer in, was, was to actually say, there's no point in you hitting somebody four times and even in you hitting him, the other guy hitting him twice in a throw, he's only going to score 1-1. One, one. There's an uppercut inside there from Heaney, but Omani came back, and it's his work rate which is prevailing in this final round. Very determined, Omani. Oh, look, shot, good shot. Lovely left-hand lead as he came inside. Heaney aiming to throw that uppercut, with which he's had some success. Omani simply beat him to the punch. Heaney's got to take Omani out of his comfort zone. No He's waiting down. all the time. No, exactly. Good right hand again from Omani, and you can see his supporters on the far side of the ring standing up the moment that landed. I think they thought for one moment he was going to go, and he's certainly gone now. That's 
the repeat and a tremendous shot takes the judges out of the equation. George Armani, in the last seconds of this fight, found an absolutely sumptuous right hand. Exactly what he did yesterday. The bout was tight yesterday, big right hand, game all over. Done it again today. I told you he had a future. Well, we talk about uh, punches of the afternoon. And that might just be the post of the tournament. Tremendous shots. He caught him with a right hand seconds earlier. And then, by way of repetition, in case you'd not noticed, not noticed it, bingo. And he need there was no way back. 19 years of age, plenty of potential. George has got lots of potential. He's, he's been the, the reckon fighter, really, for the last five years, five, six years. So he's on everyone's radar. Well, I'm sure Richie Woodall will be uh, raising that eyebrow as ever and thinking, yeah, that wasn't too bad, was it? Not bad at all. Good right hand. I should think Richie's written his name in block capital letters and he'll be finding he's getting a return ticket to Sheffield any day soon. That's where the boxing, Great Britain boxing headquarters are. He says his amateur is to box at world level as an amateur and then be a successful pro. Who knows? Well, let's take a look at the way that fight ended. He'd already landed a good right hand moments before that, and that's the one which put Heaney right out of the equation. George Omani from the Repton Club, looking to fight at the highest level, while well, here in a televised contest produced a punch which will be replayed and a punch which you will remember. <laughs>